Welcome back to Squid Game, aka Will You Snail. I am on Chapter D, floating around in these funnel currents, un uncovering little bits of story here, gearing up for probably some new level of insanity. Simulations. I had a horrible nightmare. I dreamt that I was in one of Squid's simulations, and this time he had me begging for mercy. Oh. We might absolutely be in his simulation. Oh god, I don't understand, what do you mean? I use very detailed simulations all the time to make predictions about the past or even the future. Simulations are a great tool for learning and generating precious data. Oh, so you mean Squid might be simulating this just to predict what we're up to? Maybe there are millions of possibilities for simulations we could be in. Maybe Squid is already thousands of years ahead of us, and just trying to recreate the past. You really want to cause another identity crisis for me? That'd be like the fourth one this week. Don't worry. It'd be more of like an existential crisis than identity crisis, I think. But it would be a little bit of both. If we're in a simulation, there's nothing we can do about it anyways. It's best for your happiness to just assume what you experience is real. The likelihood of it is not high, but you know, we got to assume the best. <laughs> like the likelihood that it's real is not high. That's the part that he doesn't think is likely. I, I've obviously seen and heard the like, oh, I can't believe I missed that. The we're in a simulation, nothing is real, like whole argument thing before. And I don't think I've ever heard anyone address it by just saying like, ah, you're just going to be miserable if you think on it too much, so don't. That's a much nicer way to think about it, I think, and it will be a lot better for a lot of people's sanity. There we go. That's what I needed. As for where I take it now, I do not know. Can I take it across to here? Is that helpful? Yes. Yes, it is. Excellent zigzagging. Now we've done it, although that certainly didn't quite work, did it? Alright, I must have to take this guy across to there. I At this point, I've connected so many things that it seems excessive, but it did link everything up to do it that way. Golden. Crushing it. That was a, a pretty immediate whiff on things there. But at least I can make, make a few new connections while I'm at it. Alright. Try to ride that wave a little better this time. Dang it. You gotta get your jumps kind of precise. Like holding it and then taking the next leap at the exact right moment. Exact right moment. Let me just check on that little corner. Nada. Well. I just gotta worry, realistically worry about connecting like one at a time on each pass. I'm far from doing it perfect in one go. So I might as well just focus on getting a, whatever connections I can manage in the meantime. There. That was a much uh, chiller way to go about it. Because it was kind of stressing me out to fail so precisely so often. Dang. I'd love to just crush it in one go. The physics are a little challenging. <laughs> Realizing I absolutely have the freedom to skip some sections there. And don't have to reset myself to the beginning. That was uh, pointless. Big jump. Can I backtrack to connect those ones? If I'm going to screw it up, it'd be nice to get a little assist in that regard. Oh, come on, come on, come on. No, you suck. Damn it. Oh, I got all but the very last one. Come on. Yes. <laughs> I'm getting overly excited about this. Yes. But it was tough, man. It took me quite a few attempts. Just 
you get blown the tiniest bit further than you meant to, and it, it just doesn't really work out how you hoped. There we go. This, I want to attempt still. Okay, I thought it was going to be built in a way that would really screw with me. This seems like it would be a secret. Not? That somehow isn't? Was there a different way I could have gone? I, I was fairly confident it looked like there was two options there. I'm a little bit surprised. Lots of immediate connections made there. Not many of them are going where I would have guessed. There we go. Oh, I was trying to connect, connect this one through those. So this, I, I have to open more doors. Didn't even intend to connect those ones. Worked out great for me. So now I need to, yeah, I need to get it into the, the power. Not, not going to work. So here we go, far distance, that'll power up. It won't power up. I thought that was enough connecting to power up another door. Let's explore the bottom. There'll be more down here to do. Just go for whatever connections seem possible. Maybe not necessarily obvious, but like, just as soon as I can. I need to open many more doors here. What is like the next available connection to make? This one. That's an easy one. Dang. Should have caught on to that really quickly. <laughs> A lot of things just suddenly fell into place. The horizon. Hey, congrats again for the successful elections. Let me... Yeah, let me pop the champagne. What are you going to do now? Closing the borders and building up our weaponry. What? Are you crazy? How is that supposed to help mankind? A lot of stuff has happened in the last few days. Squid seems to be evolving very quickly at the moment. I know it is hard to keep up with everything. Let's just say he tried to hack me multiple times yesterday. What? Why didn't you tell us? You know that me and the team are here to help you with issues like this. I appreciate that, but I don't think that would have been useful. I got this under control. Hmm. I just hope you know what you're doing. Squid's behavior is quite concerning. Why does he do that? Well, you know, technically I tried to hack him first, almost succeeded as well, but then it turned out to be a trap and blah blah blah. Oh no, my colleagues are right. We're approaching the event horizon, like when you create the singularity. This is it. And you'll be alive to see it unfold. Exciting, isn't it? I guess. <laughs> Depends how you want to define exciting. Because it's kind of terrifying. Ooh, I think I'll be able to connect these two. And it wasn't really necessary to connect that power source up. That was a little bit of a, a bonus connection. But one, oh, I didn't mean to. Should have been so simple. There we go. Hooked everything where it needs to be. One more of those that I don't know what good they do. Look at all these weird little people. Oh, there's no water anymore. Like some sort of central intelligence? Like the intelligence collective hive mind? Didn't mean to. This is a very dramatic scene. Oh my god. What have we created? This is our fault? Goodness gracious. Everyone is dead. That was kind of brutal. All these tiny little drones killing these tiny little men. The first wipe. Words can no longer express what I'm feeling. Even I still can't fully grasp what just happened. At least we know what Squid's intentions are now. 
To kill everyone? I kind of clued into that a while ago. You're just figuring that out now? He wants to eradicate humans. He... He's gonna come for us next. Tell me, are you gonna do the same thing to us one day? Never! I would never slaughter my own people. Well, Diana is most definitely dead now. To be honest, I was still hoping I'd be able to hold her in my arms again one day. That ain't gonna happen. Damn! He will come after us next. I hope you got this under control. I hope so as well. This is a bit scary. Half of humanity eradicated in just one day. Ah, Thanos did it in like one second, you know? Not that impressive. That isn't scary. That is insanity. What the hell are we up against? Why didn't you do anything? It happened too quickly. I'm sorry. I wish you could see how this event looks like from my perspective. Try doing absolutely nothing while everybody dies. Oh, we are doomed. We are all doomed. Oh my god. The the things that are happening outside of our silly little game where you play as a snail are just insane. Look at him watching us. Evil. I... Evil has been on the table for a while now. I don't think it took till log 28 in the story for that to be obvious. Hey, Unicorn. What do you think? How did Squid become so evil? I mean, if Amelia was involved in his creation, she must have put the exact same safety precautions in place, right? Yeah, I don't really know, but it really does... But it really looks like Squid's emotions module was corrupted by somebody. Otherwise, he never would have acted up like this. He's just misbehaving a little. You think it was the regime? I don't really see a reason why they would do that. Maybe Squid himself corrupted it? Yeah, I don't think so. And while his emotions module was still working correctly, there should have been no incentive for him to destroy it. So if it wasn't the regime and it wasn't Squid, then who was it? Well, was it Unicorn? Was it, you know, Amelia? Or, or you know, one of these characters? Whoops, I did not mean to leave. Uh, the cat is crawling around in f on the desk in my way. <laughs> I have to play like a little, like, I don't know, not really tower defense because I'm not placing towers, but it kind of feels like that a little bit. It's one part tower defense, one part like shoot him up. Like a shmup. If that was unclear, I feel like I defined it improperly. Wow, that's difficult. God damn, that didn't go well at all, did it? Okay, I gotta get a, a, like a better head start on things. Facing the wrong direction for the first wave of enemies is not gonna help. It's really easy to get spun around and face the wrong direction here. Damn it. Damn, this big one. The big one's hard to deal with. I like this, though, as a challenge. This is a very interesting side level. There's so many interesting things in this damn game. It just continues to surprise me, and I, I'm just so into into that. Okay, I basically have to deal with this big guy. Come on, take him out. But now all these? Oh, he exploded. All right, I'm out. <laughs> I'll try that again another time. I have to. That's actually what the next level is. No, that can't be true. That's absolutely a bonus level. If I go back to here, I can push through things normally. That's really cool, though. Love it. Dramatically interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> Coming off the water physics to this. What in the hell, man? Do I... If I hold jump... I think I can hold jump on this... Oh. Okay. One held jump, one quick jump. And don't walk too far. But I think if I hold the jump... No, I can hold the jump there. It's, it's good to, like, learn that. It's critical I learn that. This... 
this is going to be the section of the game I presumably have the most trouble with. Just don't generate spikes, maybe, and I maybe I'll be fine, you know? I think I have to double jump on that bottom one, like, kind of really quick. That's going to be brutal, man. I thought I had figured out, oh, some of the leftmost spikes are lower. Oh my god. No! <laughs> the, the tiniest micro amounts of left and right are going to make all the difference. If this is about to be, I don't know, 10 levels of this precision platforming, I might not be able to beat this in like one, one episode. It's going to be an hour and a half long to get through these levels my I, I I'm improving <laughs> my consistency has gone up kind of maybe maybe not at all maybe I'm fucking wrong about that come on 550 deaths It's funny that his ambition is just to cause me pain, like he could. Oh, oh no. Yes, <laughs> he could just make everything impossible, but no, he'd rather I try. Oh my God, if I just run through that section, kind of sort of worked. That <laughs> worked exactly how I hoped it would and I kind of am stunned. Can any spike break off? Are they just going to keep falling? Like, what the heck? Ah, no! I made it so far! <laughs> I got wigged out because those red squares at the bottom seemed like they would do something, and I was scared of what that would or could be. Okay, that section's not so bad. I'm, I'm feeling more confident about this level than I am, am about the one that I just beat. So that's good. That means, you know, poss possibilities. <laughs> means I can do it if I try. The, the, it's not consistent which spikes fall and when. So that kind of adds a, a lot to the difficulty here. I'm trying to, like, coax out spikes. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to be an effective strategy, I don't think. Because you never really know when they're going to drop. Mm. Like, it's slightly reactionary trying to trying to fall on you, being triggered by being under them. But there's also a level of randomness to when they fall. So I can't I can't really bank on on that. <laughs> Except for that where they just rain down three on me at once. Come on, squid. In what world is that fair? I, I, I've just kind of finished detailing how fairness isn't really his jam. Okay, I think I gotta like stand on it for half a second. Oh, okay, okay. Damn it, I just walked into the side of it. Those are the worst ones. I hate dying on the side of a spike. It's not spiky on the side of the spike. Only the tip. The tip is the only part I'm supposed to have to worry about, you know? And I get killed by that? Far out. I can't believe it. Oh, I was going, I was going speed. I figured just why not? Just rush, rush like a bum. No! <laughs> I feel that that's doable. I just, I'm going for, you have to double jump to get up to there. So that wigs me out just the tiniest bit. This first part is a joke. You can soar through that. I just need to get that level of confidence for the rest of it. Ah, <laughs> there it is. All the confidence came to a head all at once. Whew. Because I'm moving. Because I moved into it. I didn't even realize that was there. I just kind of figured, like, ah, I bet there's a secret off to the side here if I, if I go for it. So, basically had to die just to grab that. I can't believe it. Oh my god, just stepping off? 
of a platform, I think maybe counts as a jump. Didn't I make it between them once? Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's brutal. Okay. Okay. Damn you! <laughs> Damn you, Spike. How dare you exist at all? A couple times I've landed between spikes, like, not really in a way that I'm going to call intentional. Maybe next time you'll make it all the way. Just kidding. I don't think so. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know whether or not I need to go top or bottom. <laughs> I meant to lure out that spike, but I still wigged myself out anyway. Landing on that edge, that first edge, is easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> well, those odds maybe weren't in my favor, but I had to try. Yeah, I was see. The, the, I'm appreciating the gravity of the situation of this gauntlet of traps you've put me through, man. Anytime I wait for that spike to fall, I end up walking myself off the edge. Finally did it the way I intended. Jumping from the top here seems risky. <laughs> I don't even really know what I tried to do there. I just I just had to try something. I was a little frozen. No, I figured I would hit the spike from the top, that I would fall into it. That seemed like a new and creative way to go about it. Just trying things out, adding a little bit of variety. I gotta like, I gotta like chill out for a second, because now all of a sudden, I'm not even hitting that first thing that I had become easy, suddenly making it difficult for myself. Like I think if I shoot across, I can jump just at the very bottom. Like first jump, second jump, to try and clear that. But you fall fast. So the timing of that second jump has to be pretty precise. Oh, I wasn't... I was just setting myself up. I was getting myself jazzed for, for an attempt there. He doesn't even give his insult anymore of like, Ooh, you've died ten times on this level because that's become so common. <laughs> now he'll have to start commenting on when I die a hundred times on a singular level. Things like that, you know? Yes! Oh, that's what I was trying to do those other times. That was not the impossible jump. Oh, yes. This I love. This sort of, like, interesting, like, bubble physics is, like, straight out of a Flash game or something. So this I'm into. Do you think I can go up there? I think I can. There's totally a secret for pulling that off. But it requires some precision. <laughs> Secret area. I, I'll come back. But the fact that I have it unlocked at all is like good news for me. That's what I'm, I'm here for. Although, because this level is taking quite a bit of time, what I am gonna do, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna do the like defense level. I'm guessing it's a sequence of defense levels. But let's go mess around with it. D is getting split up into two levels because it's been a little bit more taxing, challenging. The the level of precision that seems to be required is very unforgiving. And so I'm just going to switch it up, take a break from that punishing shit. I think I'm immediately seeing... One thing I, I could be doing to make this easier on myself is chasing these. Alright, that's that's what I wanted. Okay. That was seemingly like the correct time and place to initiate that. And now I, I venture out of, down into a safe place. I got a lot getting ahead of me here. I was hoping that was going to be, like, the last wave. Oh, God. The music. The music's pretty cool. I can't believe that project has that. Okay. Can kill you. 
but this is better. I, I, I've I'm made some pretty major progress there by figuring some of that out. Attacking at different points in time. There is obviously a much safer place. Yeah, my range on my pistol is a little better than I, I first thought it was. So I can kind of camp some of these spots out here. This was a mistake, though. This I should have gone a little bit more offensive to deal with. You gotta take that one out first. Damn, man. I love this. This is super inch. This could have been the premise of its own game, basically. It's hard as heck, but it's cool. It's damn cool. <laughs> Didn't make it to that one when I wanted. Nice. Oh, I keep accidentally spinning myself around so I'm, like, not shooting where I need to be. I think that seemed like a good spot to, to shoot from. Alright. Ready for ya. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on those projectiles coming up behind me. This... There's no stopping that, though. Not the way I just attempted, at the very least. You need... You need to find these specific places to stand. Where you can do, like, max damage. Like, I might as well shoot those for as long as I can. Whip around. Take him out. And then, do I wait? Do I wait for those to round the corner? I feel like I'm losing time doing it that way. And see, I, I forgot to... I'm just going to blow myself up on that one. Because there's some pretty serious pattern memorizing going on here. For, like, max efficiency. So if I just wait here and kill most of these... I think that'll make a huge difference, but then I gotta find... I guess I still just camp out here? I'll take you out from up top here. This is seemingly going well. This, I think, will be way better for taking these out. Will I be... yes! Oh my god! Alright, so like, obviously that was going poorly. I think it's good to have sniper ones, like, later in the level so that they can contribute from, like, as far away as possible. I'm trying to get a good mix of the splash damage. That little, like, tutorial was, like, quite helpful. I think that worked well. Oh my god, okay, so wait, does the crosshair thing... Oh... Yeah, the crosshair one is the long distance one. I was using, I was using them totally incorrectly there. I don't know how much I'm gonna need to change my turrets. Like, see, see, it seems like the splash damage is the right way to go there. No, I gotta swap. I gotta swap if I have any hope there. Oh, God. This, this essentially requires you to, like, continually live adapt. So if I add in the long distance guys here, like, that'll be helpful for, for a minute. But then I kind of, whoops, need everything to believe, be the splash damage kind. This is dope. This is an, an entirely new game all of a sudden, and it's amazing. 
It's super, super cool, super well put together, super unique. So is that the last wave of this specific level? Oh god, okay. Damn it, damn it, what am I doing? Alright, I think everything should probably more or less start out as the standard turrets. I can get a few of the snipers going just to help out with things. He basically immediately needs to become the splash damage kind. Now I can more or less convert everything to the splash damage kind. And there will come a point where I need to change things again. Basically, as soon as they get out of range of of the splash splash damage dealers, I can go long range so that everyone can kind of contribute here. Oh no, they're blowing up, <laughs> creating a lot of danger. Okay, now I need the regular guys. Probably. I think that'll be most helpful for at least a minute here. I know I'm not saying a lot, but don't worry, I'm still paying attention. He really hadn't chimed in in a while, actually. <laughs> okay, maybe now that they're getting in range, it makes more sense to change them. I want you guys all to help out. I need you to become a splash damage dealer again. This is intense. I love it though. This is so cool. I don't know if I'll, I'll play through all the tower defense levels immediately. You don't even stand a chance. <laughs> let me let me step out of it for a second here. There's three more of this style of level. They're tough. They're they're they got my brain really overworking here. All right, I want I want splash damage dealers. Oh, I can turn them back on, at least there's that. What the shit, man? Oh, I can shoot. I can help out with this one. I couldn't shoot the last level, I don't think. Alright. I want a bunch of long-range guys helping out. Oh no, but I need them to be splash damage dealers. Alright, starting that over. Splash, splash. Splish, splash. That'll help. He's turning them off so repeatedly, it's quite frustrating to deal with. <laughs> Try to take that shit out. Alright, I want you to- oh, he blew up. Of course he did. I think if I turn all those into- Actually, these can- these can probably pretty well just stay as regular turrets, I don't know. As long as they're turned on is the main thing. You have to jump on it, which is kind of something I'm, I'm not doing correctly. Keep forgetting that he blows up. That adds uh, a lot of extra shit to have to worry about. <laughs> trying to turn it into the long range. I'm turning it to the wrong kind. I'm trying to get ahead of things to like turn them on when I want. Trying to keep my distance from it now. Uh, turn on some regular guys. Oh, but if I kill it from back here, then I'm totally stuck. Oh my god, I can't believe that got taken out. No, but he destroyed the turrets. Ah! <laughs> or he disabled them. He disabled them. I gotta, I gotta plan a little differently, I think. Mostly here, I just need to worry about turning them back on. That's going to be most important. So let me just make sure I have things operational. And I I'm trying to contribute to killing it so that I can get away from it. Again, just trying to focus on killing. <laughs> oh, the fucking whole new explosion. Figured let's try out 
some more uh, ranged guys to, to hopefully help out with uh, taking out this dude. I want them back to, to regulars. Oh, I, I was standing not where I needed to be. I think I blew it. Nope. Managed to get through. That's something at least. <laughs> I just gotta make sure I'm keeping everything operational. This is so brutal. But it's cool as heck. Let's get you in the long range mode. I'll try and contribute to shooting this thing a little bit early on. Get out of dodge. Reactivate some turrets. Contribute to shooting a few more of them. Turn a few more into more regular style turrets. Feel pretty good about that. Stop disabling them, please. Oh no. That wasn't even the last, that wasn't even the last wave. I can't even, I can't believe that somehow wasn't a last wave. Let's turn you into a long ranger. I'm, I'm failing to turn on most of what I want. Get out of there. Oh god. <laughs> Stop turning off my beautiful turrets, man. You, you gotta, you have to stick with the ones that disable turrets. The second I give them any space, they wreck me. I want a couple long rangers who can contribute no matter what. If I kind of put them all roughly in the same spot. I kinda, of course he was gonna disable that. I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have got so close. Okay, we went down a difficulty. That's fair. Overall, I would say it had not been going well. But I've never seen this sort of like hop and bop style tower defense. This is a, a, a fully new thing to me. Okay, took that one out early. He definitely, like, deactivated one of our things, though, so I kind of got to worry about that. I gotta, like, make it back to it. I keep thinking to myself that I have to dodge these. I keep, like, kind of forgetting that I don't actually have to. Clear out what I can. Trying to... Think of like what I should logically be turning these into. This is going better. This I feel pretty good about. Let's get you contributing long distance. Are any of my turrets shut down? Probably a few of them are. I better I better get like involved over here. <laughs> Shit's coming my way, and I am not really ready for it. Let's get all my, my long-distance guys going, get them activated, doing what they're supposed to do. As long as I... as long as I keep those active. Whew! I, uh... This level's going a little long now at this point. I don't know if I should attempt... No, I think I'll kind of cut it off here. I'll do the next two tower defense levels next time, and then I'll finish up the rest of D. Yeah, it's just kind of... Uh, yeah, I have like half of D left. I'm kind of committed now to this little side thing. I'm very happy that I managed to get two of them and the higher difficulty. I'm fine now if I do these next two on the lower, because it's, it's quite challenging. But this... Sh it is awesome. This game keeps you guessing. It gets better the further along it goes. I'm so into it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for pushing me to make it a series. I was just going to do one off. Oh yeah, this looks cool. Cool concept. Squid making fun of me. Fun game. No. 
it's so dope. <laughs> I think this game is incredible. Definitely has earned that overwhelmingly positive that it it just crossed like a day ago, I think, on Steam. Excellent. Excellent work all around. Thank you again. I'll see you again soon.